Good morning. How are y'all doing today? Thank you for clicking on the video. Before we get started, I'd really appreciate uh, you hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. But uh, today I'm going to talk about grounding your solar panels. A lot of people for a while has been asking me, you know, when you're going to ground them, you know, in case of a lightning strike. And uh, to be honest with you, you know, I ain't got a lot of money. So, you know, I had to save up, get my parts and all. But uh, I, I got all these grounded right here. My big arrays, you know, there's three of them. Grounded them all in the building. I still got to get my 600 watt panels right there. And if you can see them, my 420 watt panels. But I'll get them. I've already got the stuff. But I just finished up my building here. And I'll show you what I used. Grounding lugs right here. You take this bolt and put through somewhere on your panels or your uh, uh, mounts, panel mounts. And then right here, you unscrew this bottom bolt and that little channel right in there. That's where you put your number six grounding cable. You just tighten it all up. Right here is your number six grounding cable. I ordered a hundred feet. Uh, everybody was pretty high. Found a guy on eBay. I got a hundred feet for like $55, $54. So I snatched it up. But uh, then right here, I ordered these pigtails. Uh, you can see right there, grounding pigtails. Cable conductor, but uh, got a whole bunch of these. They come with the grounding screw on one end already made in there. Then your other end, you can just you know bend it or stick it in the the lugs right here, and that's what I done. But you can also buy these with just the little eye on the end here and an eye on that end or an eye on one end in the screw, you know, there's a whole bunch of different ones, but this is the one I went with. I screwed this screw, uh, drilled a little small hole, you know, on your frame of your solar panel, and uh, not the mounts, but the solar panel itself. And then I put this end through the lug right there, through that part right there, you unscrew this and it backs up. You put your number six grounding uh, wire through this lug. And then I put my little pigtail end through there too. Then screw it down tight. So that way it's all connected. Let's walk up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm just glad I got this done two little ones ain't going to be no trouble at all and I'll show you over here real quick while we're on this side of the fence right there is my grounding rod and my grounding uh, cable copper cable wire and I have it just going right here into the ground and crosses over to my building take you around here building you can see the grounding rod right here I tucked it up under the green trim make it look neater and it comes up and what I done back up here and show you to save me some grounding cable I started at the top number one and I just stretched my number six cable grounding wire over Drop down to the second row, come all the way over, drop down to the third, come all the way over, and then dropped it down underground over to my grounding rod. It just saves me some uh, grounding cable. But uh, if 
you look up under here, this just stretches from, I put one lug in between two panels, but you come over. And right here, you can see my lug. I put it on my frame. Uh, number six grounding the wire goes through the lug, but then I took them pigtails and I grounded them straight up through the uh, frame of the uh, panel, connected the open end right here, and then this one goes to this panel, comes down and goes in there, and then you just screw it down tight. So these two panels here are coming down, tightened up, they're grounded. And I just done that on every other, you know, the lug on every other panel. You can see here, this is where it drops down, but you know, it goes all the way up through there. So that's basically what I've done. Like I said, I've still got to do my 600 watt panel and my 420. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick DIY on how to do that. It's time consuming, but easy to do. Had a rough time getting my middle row because my ladder kept hitting these. So I had to unscrew every one of these, the legs and fold them down flat against the building. And then when I got all that done, I had to come back, put all these back out and screw them all back. That was about the biggest pain I had. But yeah, that's how you do it. If you got any questions, you know, leave a comment. And again, I appreciate a like, subscribe, share the video. And I do really appreciate every one of y'all tuning into my channel. And uh, we'll be coming out with another one very shortly. And I thank y'all very much. And God bless.